welcome to the Blue Blade Special. It is real live music right here in beautiful downtown Knoxville, Tennessee. We're in the old city at Barley's for the big plate today. And man, oh man, what a great show we have for you here today, visiting with us from, you know, kind of just the outskirts of Mexico City. Son Rompe Pera is here with us and will be up the second half of the show today. To get things started, there's um, musicians up there that we're familiar with from WDVX, but this um, band as a general whole is kind of new to us. We're going to get to know them just a little bit better here in just a minute. Y'all give a great big welcome to Mr. Sun to the Blue Plate Special. <laughs>
Here's the real tall girls who are smart as hell. The ones who ring out like a bell. And they know they do. But there ain't no one like you. Girls that dance, paint and sing Go on about the spiritual things they be glad to show me too But there ain't no one like you church will go Cause I can't wait to say I do When there ain't no one like you no more It's Mr. Sun with us here today on the Blue Plate Special. Now it's S-U-N, where the next one is S-O-N. Just, it's a confusing, it's a, it's a sunny kind of day, huh? So, uh, but not really. We can pretend. So y'all, Mr. Sun, give us the Mr. Sun story about the collaboration. How did y'all come together? Whose idea was it? That Craigslist. Kind of Craigslist. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we're we're all part of a, a large, you know, community of I think eclectic acoustic musicians, and and Joe and I have known each other. Joe, our mandolin player, have known each other um, for over oh, I don't know 15 years or so, and we both are people who looked up to Daryl, uh, admired his music um, as as great fans for, for most of our lives. I think there's quite a few Daryl Anger fans out here in so. our audience. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and you know, just it's just one of those things where a, a sort of gig opportunity came together and, and we tried to pool our resources as sort of a collaborative unit and, and eventually the wonderful Aidan O'Donnell came on board on bass and we've been uh, the unit that you see before us now for 
I don't know, yeah, 11 years now. And who, who's, where did the tunes come from? Where are the songs coming from? That's where, from whence does anything come from? <laughs> you know, if you think. <laughs> um, are, I mean, are you? I mean, I'm joking, but also like it's a, it, it's a, it's a collaborative thing in the sense that we all bring in um, original music, whether it's instrumental tunes or, or songs. Joe, Joe writes a lot of songs. Um, or we uh, bring in, you know, maybe stuff that we feel like playing. There's like on our uh, second to last record now, we did a, a Mingus tune that we thought was a great feature for Aiden to take a solo on. And so it, it could kind of be anything. Well, um, okay. So your current your current project is a interesting uh, concept. There, you all have uh, sort of recreated Duke Ellington's Nutcracker Suite. Yeah. On yeah. <laughs> stringed instruments. Now, is this is this like is it improv? Is it is is it an interpretation? What is it? Yeah, so uh, have any of you heard the, the 1960 Duke Ellington plays the Nutcracker Suite? Really wonderful, iconic, canonical uh, recording that we're all such great fans of. And, and what they did, what Duke and Billy Strayhorn did, was take this, this music that everyone knows and loves so well, the Nutcracker Suite, and they filtered it through their thing, through the big band sound you know, of that era, which was so great, so swinging, and so beautiful. And, you know, of course, it's like that, we think of it as like that, that diagram of the caveman, you know, and then, he, and then he's like the upright guy with a spear, and then it's like, it's the evolution thing. It's like, you know, basically it's like, you know, classical music, and then big band, and then of course the next thing is bluegrass band. So it's <laughs> natural evolution of interpretation, I think is. I, interpretation, you know, okay. I'm not gonna argue with Darwin on this one. <laughs> We're going to roll with interpretation more than improv on this one. Um, so MrSunBand.com is where you find them out there in the internet world. You can also find them uh, 8.15 this evening at the Old City Performing Arts Center, just right up the road. Feel free to shake and howdy with them after the show and thank them for being here. We're going to keep the talking brief because we've only got so much time for music. I'm out of the way, y'all. It's Mr. Sun on the Big Plate Live from Barley's. Thanks, Red. Here's a uh, number by an obscure band you've never heard of.
so much. We're going to do a tune that I co-wrote with uh, uh, an unaware collaborator, the great William Butler Yeats. Uh, this is an old poem of his that I set to music uh, about a fiddler. It's called The Fiddler of Dooney. And we'll be playing the, just as much as we can possibly fit of the uh, Duke Ellington Nutcracker Suite tonight. So uh, get over there, wherever we are. We don't know yet, but we're, we're, we're on our way.
there spy me, they will all come up to me with earrings the fiddler of duty and dance like a wave or the sea. Thank you, folks. All right, we'll leave you with uh, something like a theme song, just in the sentiment. This is called Just a Little Lovin'. Just how much I love you If you did, you'd come on home 
Make my dreams come true. Your eyes, your lips, tender kiss seem to linger, yet I'll forget. But I won't forget. Just a little of it to go a long way. He may have to be all the rest of my days. But your arms around me, I kiss Just a little loving's all that I crave. Just a little loving. Mr. Sun on the big play live from Barley's, y'all. Y'all can find more information by visiting the website mrsunband.com. Again, 8.15 this evening. They'll be at the Old City Performing Arts Center. And, uh, well... Feel free to shake and howdy with them and thank them for making music for us here today on The Big Plate, live from Barley's. Well, support for the WDVX Blue Plate special comes from listeners just like yourselves, from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Tennessee Arts Commission, downtown Knoxville, visit Knoxville, and of course, Barley's right here in Knoxville's old city. They take real good care of us at WDVX, so be sure and take care of your bartenders and your servers here today. You know, um, coming up a little bit later this afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, Nelson will be doing an interview with Rhiannon Giddens on WDVX, so be sure and stay tuned if you're listening in right now for that. I suspect there'll be all kinds of little interviews pop up throughout the uh, weekend. So uh, yeah, keep an ear on WDVX. We'll be back up at Visit Knoxville tomorrow to do the Blue Plate all over again with um, Eric Mingus is gonna be with us tomorrow along with Joe Henry. And looking into next week, oh, Red and the Paper Flowers come into the Blue Plate special, Fox and Bones, Coyote Motel. Empty Pockets will be coming back um, to see us as well as Roger Wallace. And it's been a minute since we've had Roger Wallace on the Blue Plate special. He's been living down in Austin, but he's back here in East Tennessee. And next Friday, Jeff Barbara and Sarah Perkle will be joining us for the, the Big Plate. Anthony Ray White and... Uh, Jonathan Knight will be next Saturday winding out the week. Now, one thing you can always do is go to our website there at wdvx.com. When you get there, click at the top of the page, and it's going to take you over to a calendar. It's going to list who's coming up, and it's also going to link you over to those artists so you can learn more about them because, well, even I have to learn more about them on a regular basis because, you know, we have some different kind of acts here on the Blue Plate special, and this is one of those days that's not going to stray far from that. We also, I just want to mention real quickly while we finish this last little bit, we also have coming up on April 5th, it is the Secret City Radio Show. And that is happening in Oak Ridge at the Grove Theater with Dom Flemons and Kelly Jolly. And so you can find information about tickets and all the showtime and all of that at WDVX.com as well. We're still setting up here, folks, but there's... There's a lot. I'm just going to tell the radio and the internet people kind of what's happening here. You know, it's it's sort of like we are transitioning from a you know a string instrument grass ish band to a not 
bluegrass-ish band whatsoever. And um, another thing about these guys is uh, not only are they on a different continent, but they're in way crazy time zone for their schedules. And a 1030 sound check is kind of odd to them. So um, I guess we are close to ready. I got a thumbs up there. Y'all, give a great big welcome, I think. Do we see them? <laughs> I got the thumbs up. Hey, Tim, are they ready? Give a great big welcome to Son Rompe Para to the big play live from Barbies.
Arriba México. It's so Come on, Tim. It's son Rafa Pera with us here today on the Big Plate Live from Barley, y'all. So, uh, I was mentioning an early load-in, and I also want to mention that, like, tomorrow night, they don't play till midnight, so this scheduling thing's a little whacked <laughs> for the guys. How many of y'all might have seen them play here the other night? Anybody here in the house? All right. So, today, they're going a little bit more traditional for us, you know? They, they mix Mexican folk, they mix, uh, obviously, marimba, cumbia, and I'm going to use the P word. There's a little punk rock involved. They're going to save, you know, the more rowdier stuff for the uh, evening shows. They are uh, giving us a little appetizer of what to expect here today. So uh, Tim here is going to do a little... Uh, uh, you're going to speak for me, you know. I wanted you, we're going to start with the elephant, obviously, in the room, the, the marimba here. You told me before the show it's traditional, um, but are the songs that they're playing, are they traditional songs or are they original songs? The first two songs, hey, everybody. Uh, the first two songs they played were traditional. Uh, the first one was called La Primera Canción Se Llama Pájaro Churi. Se puede hablar tú también. El pájaro chowí. And the second song was called. Y la segunda canción. Ay Jalisco. Ay Jalisco. And those are traditional songs from Mexico that the two gentlemen playing the marimba, who are brothers, learned when they were very young from their father on how to play that. Um, <laughs> woo! <laughs> and uh, so the two playing there, that is Jesus. Uh, he plays the uh, melody parts of the marimba. And that's Mongo. He plays the harmony parts of the marimba. But they also play a lot of other stuff you'll see now. They're going to sing and play some guitar. And they also have another brother back there who's in the corner. Say hi, Murphy. Hola. He's going to play the bongos for you all. And we also have Raul on the bass and Richie on the drums. And, uh, and I'll stop talking so we can listen to some music. Now they're going to play a cumbia. This is another cover, then they'll play some original songs. But um, go ahead with Cumbia de las Estrellas. Woo!
Nos vamos a ir con la cumbia algarrobera para mi amigo directamente desde Jalalpa City, el Oli Cash.
Gracias. Son Rompe Pero with us here today on the Big Play Live from Barley's. All right, I'm going to add rock and roll to that description as, as well. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to get one more tune from them here today. I, I, but I want to remind everybody, you got three more chances to see them while they're here for the festival and that will be at 545 today at Jackson Terminal. And uh, tomorrow night at midnight uh, at the Mill and Mine. And then on Sunday at 530, they'll be at the Jig and Reel. So there's your, uh, your chances to get a second chance to uh, see these guys perform. Um, how about we get one more round of applause for Mr. Sun, the first half of the show here today. 815, though, about the Old City Performing Arts Center. You can find more information on some Sun Rompe Pera by searching them out on Facebook. That's the best place to find them. But also, these guys are real interested in some tradition of East Tennessee. So if anybody's feeling like frying some chicken up in the next couple of days or uh, making a big pot of beans and cornbread, I think these guys would be real interested in some home cooking kind of food here. Also, you know, any kind of traditional bluegrass music or uh, anything happening out there that you should make them aware of it, let them know because they want to soak up a little culture while they're here bringing a little culture to us. So, um, anything else, Tim, I've left out here? I just wanted to say that, uh, so they started a little more traditional stuff. Uh, the two boys playing the marimba started playing with their dad when they were very young. Uh, and then they mixed a lot of different styles and genres. Like you saw, they just played a blues. Uh, they're fans of that. Our bass player and our drummer were in rockabilly bands for a long time, so they're really into rock and roll and that kind of music. Uh, and the guitar player and, and marimba player, the two marimba players, uh, played in psychobilly bands for a long time, where where the where where Cacho, who plays there, used to play upright bass and stuff like that. So they mix a lot of songs together, and and you know she said at the beginning of the set that this was going to be more folk and more traditional. Uh, that a lot depends on you guys. So if you want to get rowdy and dance and get punky, they'll take your energy from you guys. So um, they're going to play another song to end the Blue Light Plate special, but uh, I hear they can play more if you guys uh, ask for another song. So here we go.
Checo. Saludos a Loli y a mi vieja. Son rompe para. Sí, sí. Thank you all. Join us again next time for more real live music on the Blue Blade special. So hey, y'all.